Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Information. Ooh, finished today. It was the CVX one. We have to take a weight no more than like 12 pounds. I'll figure out how many kilos that is one day. And you do cardio. There are little moves, there's three sets of moves, but you do them twice, once, medium speed, then the second time, death mode. Oh, I used a two kilo, yeah, two kilo weight. Which don't sound like a lot, but you get tired. Which then makes me go, if two, I'm a dancer. <laughs> oh, two kilo weight to my exercise made me exhausted. At the beginning of my contract, it was like 91 kilos, and I'm down to like, 88, so I've lost a couple kilos, and I've, obviously that's uh, with like co my costume on still. But like, I was jumping up and down with three extra kilos every day. And I'm not trying to lose weight, cause I'm, okay. I'm on this whole kick about like, loving your body and, and loving yourself and blah, 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 and trying to like figure my life and my stuff out, cause like, I was never a fat guy, but I just didn't have like a six pack. I'm trying to like maintain a positive body image, especially when I was younger, cause I'm so old now. But when I was younger, I think it was just easier to just eat whatever you wanted, obviously, but just to be okay for me, to be okay with myself and my body and whatever my body did. And I was like content and comfortable in ignorant bliss and la la land. And then, you know, you, you get into the entertainment business. It feels like everybody has a six pack and it feels like that's what they want in, in order for you to be a leading man. And that's okay, I mean, whatever. I mean, I think it bothered me and I went back and forth, but at the same time I was like, meh. And then I came to Japan where everybody, like they eat a rice ball and do three sit-ups and everybody's freaking skinny and it drives me bonkers. And, and it's a culture where like, it's okay to be like, oh my God, you're fat and your nickname is fat. And that's like, Mind blowing, cause it's so rude. At least where I come from. It, it like got to me. It really got to me. And I remember like, I started like dieting and exercising, but it wasn't for the right reasons. It was trying to look like other people. Like I applaud everybody who has a six pack and wants to go to the gym twice a day. And they, they have the self-discipline to, to constrict what they eat and what they do, and I applaud you. That's not a life that I wanna live. That lifestyle makes me really unhappy. I don't feel like it. Towards the end of last year, well, towards the middle of last year, but especially towards the end of last year, you know, they say like, when you have a problem, the first thing to do is to admit it. I think you have to admit to yourself the kind of person that you are. Like, I am not a person that can do a diet because if, I'm on a no carbs diet and I want a bowl of cereal, you can't tell me that I can't have a bowl of cereal. I'm gonna eat the cereal, it's gonna be good, and then I'm gonna wash it down with all my hopes and dreams of having that six pack. <laughs> I just, I'm gonna eat it, you can't tell me no. But I am a person that like moderation really works for me. And so I've had to go in and change my diet that way. Just ushering in more healthy options and options that are healthy that I like. Cause I like vegetables. Vegetables are delicious. You give me a spinach salad and I am all in. It is so with some olive oil and some garlic salt, baby. It's so good. I love it. So I, got, I just have been more conscious about what I eat. And really, I started doing that because I don't do New Year's resolutions. I just, I'm not that guy, once again. Like, I have to usher in change and it has to start that moment. And so I started, like, in December? The beginning? No, the end of November, I started just changing the way that I eat and monitoring how I eat, no carbohydrates after six o'clock because I will eat, I will fry some french fries at midnight and then be like, well, I may blow it in the morning. <laughs> Instead of having the entire huge bag, you know, you pour yourself a, a little, nice little portion. It's a delicious treat. So now, like, my body is slimming down and I'm getting all tight in the right places. And so I was like, okay, let's go to the gym and let's start exercising now to, to continue. Um, now that blackout is over and uh, my work schedule has kind of tapered off a little bit at work, I, I have more time. So let's get into the P90X. It's a half an hour and I'm not, 
I realized the part of going to the gym for me is battling my own mental processes. Like I'm the type of person that like, when it starts to hurt in the gym, I'm like, oh, I'm done. And so like acknowledging that that is the person that I am and being like, okay, I need to get through this whole video. So if I, if my goal is to get through the whole video, some, some of the exercises that are really, really difficult for me, maybe I have to stop or maybe I have to modify, you know what I mean? And not stop the whole exercise, do as much as I can and continue on. And then the next video I'm gonna get better and the next video I'm gonna get better. The whole point for me is just to not give up completely because then I won't come back to it. And that's just speaking on myself and how I am. I'm that person. This is my war on procrastination and my war to reclaim my self-discipline when it comes to those things that are uncomfortable. But I also am coming at it from the mindset that like, I'm not trying to get a six pack. I'm not trying to lose weight. I really want to be healthy and I really want to be the healthiest version of my body. I want my muscles to support what it is that I do. I don't look like Idris Elba. I am not Shamar Moore. I'm not that. That's not my body. I do not mind this body that I have going on for me. But, you know, I can work on my body and I can train my body. I want to start having better lifestyle habits now before I am 50 and trying to catch up. Before I'm 60 and I've got diabetes. I don't want that for myself. I plan on being here for a long time. I have things to do. I have to keep going. And I have to start now. But I don't have to have a six pack. I'm not opposed to it. If she shows up, that's, <laughs> I welcome her. <laughs> I'm not going to strive for a body that's not my body. I'm going to strive for a good body. I want to look in the mirror at myself and be like, Kenan, you are fine. And that is my goal. Since I've even started this whole journey again, it has been awesome. And I've woken up days and be like, oh, well, hey. Look at you and your body. My spare tire is getting ready to go away. And like I said, once again, I was never fat. I, I just didn't like the way that I looked. And I didn't like the way that people were talking about my body. But I have found even still, because I am still bigger than a lot of the people in this country, <laughs> especially where I work, and they still will poke and prod at all of my uh, at my stomach and at my legs and at my big old voluptuous black booty. Be like, oh, you, you're fat, you're fat, you gain weight, ha ha, double, double, double. Uh, but it doesn't bother me as much anymore because I woke up and I like my body and that feels good. So that's why I'm going to the gym. Cause when I walk into an audition room where I step on the stage, I have to like myself in order to continue to give a great product. And so that's where I'm going. Sometimes you gotta, what did I say? You gotta come into love with yourself. That's not proper English, but I don't care. Cause you do. You have to love who you are. From my hair follicles to my toenails, I have to come to love myself so that I can continue to give an amazing product. And that's exactly what I'm going to continue to do. Happy 2016.